head to the Magic Kingdom on the first Florida fall day of the year. Getting a look at the brand new second floor uh, loading and unloading platform. I don't believe it's in service yet, but pretty soon we'll be able to actually get off right here in this spot on the second floor of the ferry boat. Save a lot of time. That looks like it'll sit down and connect just right, right here. Uh, and, and if you're in this spot on the riverboat, you can just get off right here and go into the park. So it's pretty cool. Hey everyone, today is October 30th, the day before Halloween, and it is also the first day that really feels like fall here in Central Florida. So we're, we're really excited to be here at Walt Disney World and the Magic Kingdom. But we're also here for another reason. Do you know who had a birthday this week? Dumbo! Right. Dumbo! <laughs> Dumbo is 90 this week. Uh, it's been 90 years since Dumbo was released in theaters. So we are here in Storybook Circus to celebrate all things Dumbo. And then we're gonna enjoy a nice fall day in the park. Maybe look for some fall or Halloween decorations. So come join us. So Storybook Circus is incredibly detailed, especially for a, a children's play area or a, a children's land. Um, you can even see peanuts, uh, circus peanuts mashed into the concrete. All the tracks from the various circus animals that walked along with Casey Jr. to set up shop in Storybook Circus and isn't their show. Uh, looks like there's some elephant tracks, uh, maybe bear tracks. I'm not a tracker, but it, it looks like I might be bear tracks and tons of peanuts because you know Dumbo likes to eat peanuts. Back at the train station has the receiving dock and you can see some of the performers still have their luggage here waiting to unload. An interesting little Easter egg here at the Storybook Service receiving dock is this hat. You notice it says 10 shillings and six pence limited. That's actually um, a reference to the Mad Hatter who has a card in his hat that references 10 shillings and six pence. Um, and this is here because Dumbo moved from old Fantasyland into new Fantasyland in Storybook Circus. Uh, so it's a reference to the move over here. And the posters are telling us that we're currently in Carrollwood Park. It's where Dumbo's Circus or Storybook Circus set up. And um, the Carroll Pacific Railroad was actually Walt Disney's Railroad. We showed you um, one of the cars from it in a, another video. Uh, so it's a tribute to, to Walt Disney's Railroad that kind of started it all. Now this is where Casey Jr. is stopped so the circus can set up shop. You can see they're kind of on a, on a turntable. Um, and you can see each of these cars actually has a number on them and the numbers correspond with the opening of a Walt Disney World park. So 71, as we all know, is Magic Kingdom's opening. Over here with the clowns is 82, uh, which would be Epcot. And let's let's brave the, the splash pad. Oh, geez. 89 um, would be Hollywood Studios. So this is the, the giraffes are here to represent Hollywood Studios. So let's find Animal Kingdom. Oh, geez, this is perilous. And we got Casey Jr. over here. Sorry. Oh, there we go. 98, the camels are Animal Kingdom. And then there is one more train car tucked away, um, not with the, with the Walt Disney World cars, because it actually represents Disneyland. Uh, the 55, which is when Disneyland opened in 1955. And it looks like the Disneyland one is normally a snack booth. 
And here in the back entrance, the Big Cop Souvenirs, there's even more character posters. Lambert the Lion, uh, Hyacinth the Hippo, Salty the Seal, and Humphrey the Bear. It's a pretty cool circus. And even more character posters. Here we have Strongman Pete, Pluto the Wonder Pup. Really looking forward to seeing him. Clara Cluck and Horus. And then if we go to the other side, some of the characters we saw at the gift shop have their own individual posters. Salty the Seal, Humphrey the Unicycling Bear, Lambert the Sheepish Maneater, and Hyacinth Hippo. Here's Pete's Silly Sideshow. This is normally a character meet and greet area um, due to the pandemic. Of course, it's closed because they're not doing character meet and greets right now inside. Um, but when it's open, you can see Minnie Magnifique, Madame Daisy Fortuna. They're all in their circus clothes. And over here are some of my favorites. The one and only Gray Goofini. Um, he actually wears kind of like an evil Knievel costume. It's really cool. And then the astounding Donaldo. Now we're gonna head on in the Big Cop Souvenirs. It is probably my most favoritely themed Walt Disney World gift shop. Because this is actually the circus tent for Storybook Circus. You can see the spotlights on the ceiling where the acrobats are gonna perform. Now, this Storybook Circus actually used to have my favorite flooring in all of Walt Disney World um, because it actually used to be matted to look like the, the big top ring. And it was awesome. I'll, I'll see if I can find a picture to drop down at the bottom. But there was a fire a couple years ago and it looks like the, the flooring didn't survive the flood. Now, you can't come to Storybook Circus without getting some cotton candy. Big Cop treats always smell so good and they have many of the things you can find in the confectionery, but it just seems more special getting them at the circus. And here's the kangaroo trailer. And look, the trailer for the penguins is the cooler for the drinks. Pretty clever, Disney. It is a busy day here at Walt Disney World. 30 minute wait for Goofy's Guard Stormer right now. I do really like the theming for this ride. I love that it celebrates all things Daredevil Goofy. Now the Barnstormer coaster is gonna crash through this billboard in just a moment. There it goes. And a fun fact here, there's a, a reference, reference to actually a really old Epcot attraction here where it says an aer aerobatic skeletoscope. There was actually a skeletoscope show at Epcot in the 80s. I remember it. I went on a, a trip with one of my friends and it was this crazy weird show in the World Showcase. Um, they had ultralight planes flying, daytime fireworks, so there was smoke everywhere. It was pretty crazy. I'll try to find a photo or video to put down in the bottom corner of the screen, but anyways, that is a really cool reference on the Barnstormer sign. Now the Great Goofini posters outside of Goofy's Barnstormer uh, are actually uh, references to some of Goofy's shorts from the 1940s through the 1960s. So these things, these are adventures that Goofy actually went on. Birthday let's, let's fly. Let's get this show on the road. Or as Timothy says, let's get the show on the road. Please remain. I love the artwork at the bottom of this attraction too. It's a bunch of scenes from the movie. And up we go. Dumbo. Get some pretty good views up here on Dumbo. 
right here we got the Barnstormer and the Tron construction. Dumbo's tent. You see the castle back there. And down. They're, they're actually doing a soft open for the return of indoor meet and greets for characters. Now there's no physical interactions, no hugging or anything like that, but it's pretty cool when we get a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time and say hi to a couple princesses. Here we are in Princess Fairy Tale Hall. There's portraits of all the princesses. Tiana. Rapunzel. And then over there we have Snow White, Milan, and Jasmine. It's so cool to be back in here. It's been well over a year since we've been in here. And there it is, Cinderella's glass slipper. See the princesses are behind ropes over here, doing their meet and greets, but it's still pretty cool. You can actually interact with them. We of course got to stop and admire Dumbo and his 50th anniversary statue for Magic Kingdom. So we hopped over from Magic Kingdom to Fort Wilderness to check out some of the, ha the Halloween decorations because campers here are known for, for really elaborately decorating their campsites. And we found that they're having a cart parade in just a couple minutes. So we're going to check that out. Halloween cart parade. Got a good spot, so you should see all the action. Mm -hmm. Should be pretty cool. Because I have a feeling you might have Look at the big crowd for the cart parade. When the parade's on its way, um, it started at another, at the other side of Fort Wilderness. We're actually at the, the end of the play parade route. Everyone's really excited though. It, it's a, it's gonna be a fun event. I actually do it for Halloween once, um, so this is it. So we'll see it, and then next time we want to see a golf parade at Fort Wilderness, it will be either the pet one, which is tomorrow. Or Christmas, so. Okay, so BJ was wrong. It's not a parade. They don't call it a parade. It is actually called Golf Cart Extravaganza. So, this is what we are doing. Watching the Golf Cart Extravaganza. The Golf Cart Extravaganza that will parade down the street in a single fire form. Correct. Very similar to a parade. <laughs> Correct, but not a parade. <laughs> so it's like a cavalcade. Yes, but for... a very long cavalcade um, on the golf cart path. Right, and the Fort Wilderness Halloween golf cart extravaganza is about to begin. He's prancing. He's prancing. I see it. The horse is prancing. You're going to see him in a second. <laughs> Well, that is all 
nice people. <laughs> All people who work in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> they're used to that. Now they're done. Oh, that's so good. Oh, so the horse is going back to the Circle D Ranch, but the, the golf carts are going to continue right by us. Maybe. There we go. We have a Witch Sisters. Oh, this one's really cool. That is awesome. We got some evil bunnies. We got next, we have a Mickey one, football. What do we have here? Oh my goodness. Is that a yellow submarine? No, but it's a school fish. School of fish. That's awesome. Oh, and Nemo is back there. We got some skeletons, some spooky one. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. Haunted oh, Mansion was going the other way. And look at this Tomorrowland one. This is pretty cool. That's pretty Stuff. Camper it's the mover. camper mover. That's awesome. That is really neat. I see. Hey, hey is on the front, and now he's driving. And we got... Oh, oh, no. The battery died. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're a little mad. Look at Alice. And now we have an evil, angry baby coming up. But first, we're taking a traffic break for the bus to come by. And here comes the scary baby. Scary baby. Pizza Planet. That's awesome. Yo. Now we have um, Stormtroopers. Kylo Ren. Mike Wazowski. Another Moana one. <laughs> Sully, look at Sully. <laughs> and then we have a, a Harry Potter one with a night bus. And then we have Dumbo on his 90th birthday week dressed as Captain America. Yes, Dumbo! I met this damn boy. They're so interesting. Daddy Dumbo! Daddy Dumbo! <laughs> what? Oh, it's a magic thing, guys. Oh, my gosh. And then we have a giant magic band box. <laughs> okay, that's the winner for creativity. Yeah. That is wow! Look at the back of that box too. That's amazing. And we got David S. Pumpkins. Any questions? 
Oh Buzzes on the bottom of the Magic Pan box. We're going back to that real quick. Jurassic Park one. And we have a Jurassic Park one. <laughs> and then T Rex is chasing. <laughs> And the Disney Cruise Line. And then we have a, a, a Christmas one. It is night. Oh, it's Jack Skeleton. What's up, Jack? Merry Thanksgiving. Merry Thanksgiving. That's hilarious. And then we have a Mario Kart. Stitch and a ghost Mickey in the back. <laughs> Mickey's Wilderness Cafe. And <laughs> the hippie one's smoking, that's awesome. <laughs> Aliens, Toy Story Mania. We've got Woody driving. The Jungle Cruise? I don't know. Oh, it's Robin Hood. It's awesome. Another night. Oogie Boogie is driving fast. Wow. Another Moana. All right, we got Tomator coming up, and that is pretty epic. Hey, Mater. And then we have an up, an up golf cart. And we have a pirate ship and it's throwing out candy. Oh no, they're throwing out coins. They're throwing out coins? Jack and Sally. Jack. Wow, that's a lot of Look at Ariel in the back. She was. Bing bong. We got zero. <laughs> so we ended up getting the counter service PJ's restaurant here at Fort Wilderness, and we got a family meal. It was only $32 with drinks for all of this food, which is amazing at Disney. We got mashed potatoes and gravy. Macaroni, cornbread, lots of barbecue sauce. We have chicken, fried chicken, and then there's a ribs in ribs, there as yeah. well. That is, that is a feast for $32. I mean. All right, so we just watched the, the golf cart parade and ate, ate our dinner, and now we're gonna. No, 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 not golf cart parade. Golf cart <laughs> extravaganza. Right. Remember, Disney does not do parades right now. Extravaganza. It's extravaganza. <laughs> so we watched the golf cart extravaganza and then ate our dinner. Now we're going to hop on a boat, head over to the Contemporary Explorer on there for a little bit, and then we're going to head home. It's been a really good uh, pre Halloween fall day here at Disney. Yes. You can wear the mask inside, but in the front and back, you don't have to wear them. <laughs> Look at that sunset over there. 
This is an awesome day. <laughs> and Kristen's eating the ice again at Disney. <laughs> Why you always gotta um, talk to me when I'm eating my ice, man? <laughs> so we're here at the Contempo Cafe in the Contemporary and we are finishing off our Halloween Disney trip with a little dessert. So Kristen got the monorail cookies and cream cupcake. It is a cookie and some cream cupcake with what looks like a white chocolate monorail on it. Uh, edible monorail that's really cool and then I got the Halloween mini cake and look it's got a little pumpkin down there let's dig in all right so Kristen's cutting into the Halloween mini cake it's supposed to have a candy bar custard filling which sounds kind of weird I didn't get that Oh, she didn't get the... Um, come on, let me dig a little further, but I think it's just kind of cakey so far. What's supposed to be in the middle? Candy bar custard. I didn't get that. It's probably in the middle middle, so... Okay, so stay tuned for the candy bar custard. We'll cut back to this in a minute. Okay. Um, all right, Kristen, let's, let's go with the... Go for yours. The... Monorail cookies and cream okay, well cupcake. First, oh my goodness. That is legit monorail here. <laughs> what? What? Is it white chocolate? It is white chocolate. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Eating a cupcake with a fork because I'm weird like that. Okay, so I actually see what's in the middle of this cookies and cream too. I believe it had it a cookies like, and cream filling. Yeah, there's definitely a middle filling in here. And then cookies and cream. Mmm. That's pretty good. So which I one think you like I like that better than this one, but I haven't gotten to the custard yet. Okay, we'll keep so. closer. Oh, look, there's a monorail going by. Look, I got a monorail too. Okay, everybody on the monorail probably thinks I'm a crazy loop. <laughs> or they're like, I want an edible monorail as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna put the cameras down and enjoy our food. We'll, we'll cut back to the candy custard filling when we find it. I am so excited. I love mushy Oreos. I'm probably like the only person on the planet that likes mushy Oreos. Like I dunk them in my milk so they get really soggy. And I just went to take this Oreo off of the cupcake and it's mushy. So I am super excited about that. I'm trying to not break it into a million pieces, but look, it's mushy. Mm. My favorite. So, so how do you like your Oreos? Comment post in the comments. Are you a mushy Oreo person or a fresh Oreo person? Team mushy, team crunchy, team mushy. Okay, update. I think we found the candy bar custard and there is not a lot of it. It looks like a little glob right below the icing there. Um, we're going to taste and see what it tastes like real quick. It pretty much just tastes like a regular custard. Um, and you, you literally get a dollop of it. Um, Kristen and I both talked, and we believe the monorail cupcake is the winner. Okay, I just lost half my cupcake. There. As she drops the monorail cupcake. 
Um, I mean, first of all, it comes with a monorail on it. That makes it a winner automatically. I know. How do you how do you eat this? It's so cute. Like I don't want to get rid of it. Like, can you even see? It has doors on it. It has monorail it doors. Has that doors. is so cool. Like that is so awesome. And I got a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, you keep your pumpkin, and I'll keep my monorail. <laughs> Whoa, something Whoa. happened to Chef Mickey's over there. I think Goofy's cooking. Yeah, <laughs> probably. And do not let you get those automatic doors. Nope. If you've just joined us, welcome aboard. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey and stay clear of the doors. For the comfort of others, no smoke, please. Our next stop will be the Transportation and Ticket Center which includes Magic Kingdom car and bus parking. To the right is Disney created Seven Seas Lagoon. And what a Disney day we had today. We came to, to celebrate Dumbo's 90th birthday, mm -hmm. visited Storybook Circus, and then um, first day of fall for Florida pretty much, so that was pretty awesome. Hence weather, <laughs> I'm freezing. Stumbled upon a golf cart parade when we were going to look at decorations at Fort Wilderness. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty cool. That was very random, mm -hmm. we thought, but apparently it's not very random. Um, so, yeah, that was cool. You got an ed edible monorail? It's technically mine. <laughs> Somebody else picked a different dessert, so that yeah, I got mon that. edible monorail should be all mine, but I will <laughs> nicely share with you. I got an edible pumpkin. It wasn't that good, though. Yeah, that's... And we traveled like by land, sea, and air on Dumbo. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Pretty cool trip. So we saw a um, a deer, and we saw a rabbit. So we mm -hmm. almost have the whole set to Bambi. Mm -hmm. We just need a skunk, but we'll just for, we'll just hold off on that <laughs> one. Yeah, this was off camera, but we saw a couple deer on the way into Fort Wilderness, and then getting off the monorail platform, a hare actually hopped in front of us yeah. um, on the down ramp. That was pretty cool and that's never happened before no nope. pretty cool yeah thanks for joining us everybody have a happy halloween be um, safe absolutely. don't eat too much candy it'll rot your teeth out and give you a sugar <laughs> rush get your candy x-rayed at the hospital <laughs> <laughs> watch out for whatever they said was in the candy in the 80s oh uh glass no, razor blades. Razor, razor blades. blades. Yep. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Thanks for making us be really dated and old. <laughs> my word. Villains. Yes. So, Have nice. a good, happy, safe Halloween to everybody. And, um, yeah, what's next? Thanksgiving. I'm ready. Yep. Yeah, we're going to come to the parks next week, and it's going to be all Christmas. Watch. Christmas is going to yeah. come so fast at Disney World after Halloween. It's just Poof, yep. Halloween gone. Hello Christmas, which we're actually really excited about Christmas. Yep. Lots of plans this year for Christmas things we're going to share with you guys. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. Like as soon as the park closes, they spend all night. They get it done in usually a day, and it's on to the next. So, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, today we're in Celebration, Florida, checking out the lights on Jeter Bend. Now, Celebration, as most of you know, is a town that was developed by Disney. Uh, so it's very Disney-centric. It's very close to Disney. And um, these light shows are amazing. So. Seven times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. And the ghost look.
Ah, cool. This house has haunted mansion. This house has haunted mansion wallpaper as a projection. Oh, now it's changed to the hitchhiking ghost. That's really neat. So, Kristen's getting scared because the dead are starting to bust through the garage door. Uh, so I think we're done filming this house. Uh, yeah, they're oh geez, yeah, they're they're coming through. This place is pretty cool. Look, there's a, a coffin up front. That effect just made the garage door look like they were busting through. Don't shake, man. It's messing me up. <laughs> Kristen using the gimbal app to fix her lipstick. <laughs> That's what it's for. Okay. <laughs> 